What's going on everybody? It's our Mike and today we have the Pixel 5 in front of us. As you all know, this is my wife's Pixel 5 in her rink case. As you can see, she went with the black model with the green casing. So far, it has held up well, but you notice she does not have a screen protector. That is the other thing she was waiting on me to put on, and I wanted to make a video about this. There are not a ton of screen... well, I can't say there are not. There are a ton of screen protectors out there that are available on Amazon. Some of them say they are bubble free. Some of them say feels like glass. They will say that they are film or they are glass screen protectors. I would recommend still sticking with another glass screen protector so you're putting glass on top of glass. Um, in fact, this is Gorilla Glass 6 that is on the Pixel 5 but you still want to keep your Pixel 5 looking good, especially if you do plan to trade it in the future or sell it. But my wife's phone, she thinks she may have gotten a scratch, and I do not know if we'll be able to see it. If you all make that out, you could see that there's a very fine paint scratch right in here. Right in the corner would be the bottom right of her display if you were standing the phone upward, but the rest of it seems to be good. So she has been lucky. Luckily enough though too, it is such a faint light scratch, you can't make it out. It's not something that's super deep. So obviously we had to put some uh, humidity onto the display or some hot air, hot breath to be able to cause some condensation to show that the screen actually has a scratch to it. But to keep it looking good, you definitely want to go with a screen protector. One screen protector I have been a good, a big fan of, that is one of the cheaper ones, has been AM Films. Now, these screen protectors have not failed me. I have used these, if you all remember, I had these on my LG V30 before I went to Whitestone and switched over with them. Um, another cheaper screen protector I would recommend would be Omaton. They make one that works on my uh, Microsoft Surf Surface Pro 7. And what I like about the Omaton is that they give you a guide bumper that goes on and then you drop the screen protector on that. Do your press in the middle, your swipe across, and it will adhere. Um, these AM films should do the same. This should be a full adhesive screen protector, not one that has a black border around it that only has adhesive around the edges. No, you want to find something that is a full adhesive. So let's go ahead and crack into this and see. Grab out our big knife. This might actually be a little too big for this unboxing, but just do a little cut. And we are in. We'll put this sucker away. But yeah, these AM Films screen protectors are full-on adhesive from what I remember. So this one should do us well. And obviously, thank you for choosing us. They put a, even a piece of tape over their flap as well, just so you know these have not been tampered with, which is good. So let's grab our smaller knife for that. Nice little cut there. I'll do another one down here. Alright, so we are into our package. And we have... Register your product today. Unlock our lifetime warranty. Very nice. Your installation guide, which includes your dust removal stickers. We also have our wipes. Should be a dry wipe and an alcohol wipe. Make sure you get everything out. And this is a three-pack. Just so you all know, this is a three-pack of tempered glass screen protectors. Now, I am waiting, not going to lie, I am waiting on Whitestone to release a screen protector. Also, if uh, Later Case from Lou, if he decides to make a screen protector, I would like to check that one out as well. Or another one is actually D-Brands. D-Brands actually makes some good glass screen protectors. All right, so as we can see here, we actually have tabs to hang on to when installing. We have our hole punch cut out for the camera. There are some screen protectors out there that are just one full solid sheet. 
um, that might cause some issues with the camera. Being that this one has a hole cut out already, we should be good. So we'll give that a shot. But yeah, that should be a full adhesive. So let's go on ahead and get out what else comes in the box. So far, I have maybe three little, I don't know if we'll be able to make them out right there, three little specks. Doesn't seem to be dirt or dust. It might be a dust particle. Everything else turned out pretty well. One might do temporarily. Like I said, I do plan to go through a few more screen protectors, so this one might just be a temporary setup. Just to protect the screen for now until we get a few more screen protectors in-house. And I am waiting on my Pixel 5. It is on its way. So that is on before we go ahead and peel the front piece off. Let's make sure the case is wiped out. Looking good case and then peel off our front cover here all right so we're back in the case and ready for the peel and that is it you can make out those three little dots or two now that's good yeah we will uh probably switch to another screen protector like i said we'll try a few other ones as well but overall a good fit definitely fits in the bumper case with no problem as you can make out we still have a nice lip nice edge the screen protector is not too tall off just a little bit from the camera as you can see but again not bad for not doing one of these type in a long time that doesn't have a jig or a guide to install or some sort of bumper for helping with installation so all right but that's it that is the am film glass screen protector if you all like the video please hit the like button comment subscribe let me know what screen protectors you have been using that you have found that you like and i will chat with you all in the next video have a great one